Hi everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto and today we have a 2011 Hyundai Sonata in the shop and we're checking on a vibration during acceleration. Let's diagnose it. Now we're going to road test this for this vibration when you accelerate. So car's running, I'm going to put it in drive and I'm going to go. And let's see what speed it starts and let's check for steering wheel shake, body shake. And obviously the first thing I checked before I even got in the car is I grabbed my tires and checked lug nuts and made sure all my wheels were tight because that will obviously cause a major body vibration. Okay, so at 35 I feel it in my seat quite a bit and on acceleration and I can feel the whole front, the front vehicle go like that. And deacceleration, it smooths out. And if you paid attention, I don't know if you can see it, but my steering wheel itself did not shake. So that tells me it's not a wheel. But on acceleration, I can feel the whole engine shake. So we're gonna check motor mounts and drivetrain and the front end once we get back to the shop. So I've got the car in, I'm gonna check my motor mounts because that drivetrain shake like that could be caused by a motor mount that's completely broken like missing or broken pieces like the rubber is actually torn out i'm not going to do it in the car driver in drive because a weak motor mount or just a slightly torn one will not cause this shake it has to be broken completely which i'm already pretty sure it's not going to be but you always want to give a quick visual so you've got the mount here by the drive belt serpentine belt you've got this they would call this the front motor mount. Then you have the left side, which is the one by the radiator, which we'll be able to see from down below a lot better, but I can see it from here, and I don't see any rubber sticking out, and the bolt goes through and the nut's attached. And then you have the rear training mount. It's kind of hard to see. I can visually see it from here. You can take the air box off and give that a good look through. And then you've got the trainee right side engine mount which you can see very clearly from here, and it's fully intact. Now we can see underneath, and we can see the motor mounts, the one on the rear and the one on the front here by the radiator, and rubber's not ripped, steel's not ripped, there's no crack, and the welding didn't come undone. So we're all set. So I want to make sure my tire root ends and ball joint and wheel bearing have no play. This car being a strut-loaded vehicle, it doesn't have an upper control arm. So first thing I'm going to do is grab my tires from 9 to 3, and I'm gonna give it a slight shake. You don't want it to be like crazy. You just want it to be able to feel like, because the inner tire end is not gonna give you, you're not gonna feel it if you go really hard and fast. So it's just a, a nice little back and forth motion. I've got nothing there. I'm gonna grab 12 and six, and this is a good way to check your ball joint and your wheel bearing. Now to do the ball joint properly, we'd bring it down and we also would check it with a, a bar on the ground. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I have no play, because I don't even have any movement. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, and if that checks out okay, then I'm gonna raise it up and check out my drivetrain. So I'm gonna check for uh, CV axle play on the outside here, and grab, and that's still tight. That means that that axle nut's tight. I've got no tear in the boots, so that's in place. I'm gonna follow that shaft right into the transmission, grab it, that's normal play. Just a little bit of rocking back and forth. Then I'm gonna go over to this side I've already checked my tie rod ends and my ball joint, so I'm gonna go right to the axle up here, do the same thing. No tears, that's good. No signs of grease anywhere. Follow the shaft up, and there's the problem. You can see how the axle has popped out of the transmission, the trans transaxle case. So that tells me that more than likely the clip that locks that CV shaft in on that sun gear, the clip let go and broke. I can't get any wobbling out of it, but boy, when you drive this, you could actually see, you could feel the shake through the whole body. So now we know what the problem is. When we take that axle out, we'll find out if the clip is still there or if it's inside the transmission. So now that we've pulled the axle out, we can see that the clip is still attached, thank goodness, and it's just uh, worn out and it let go. So that means good news, the clip is not inside the transmission. So now I just want to recap our vibration during acceleration diagnostic. We checked it out, confirmed it, on acceleration, major vibration. Brought it in, set it up, went for the drivetrain axles after we did a quick check over the front end, and we did find that the 
right side CV shaft had pulled itself out of the transmission. Once we removed that, we found the clip was just worn and not broken off. That was a sweet deal. No transmission problem, so I purchased a new CV shaft from 1AAuto.com, installed it, vibration's gone.